guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, basically, I'll be showing you how to add a sound pad and songs or whatever to your uh, Gorilla Tag copy. Basically, I'll be using this house fan too in my game. So, yeah. But basically, the basically what you want to do. Basically, I'm like, hold on, I got okay. So basically, first, basically, you want to go ahead and. Duplicate the hats button. So I'm gonna do that. So duplicate the hats button and drag it up and put it up here. But I can't be at mods over here. Basically, it's just wanna. But I put it over here. All right. And basically, it should say hats. So basically, what you wanna do is turn on gizmos and click on the button and change the name to whatever. Okay. Or the song title, just name it song, or whatever, just like double here. I'm gonna do so, it's just say the name title. So, basically, I'm gonna do double life minions, just pick up a me forward, and it should do that. And basically, you wanna go ahead and add the uh, banana OS menu button. So, it's in Beatles Discord server and not mine yet. So, go ahead and save it. And basically, you wanna remove component on your button like so basically it's just remove component portable punching button scripts just remove that but on here your button that you just made make sure to change this so double, double life so all right once you've done that we want to go want to open your browser google whatever basically want to search up a uh, white tmp3 youtube mp3 or or it's just like search up this or something copy that copy and just like do that basically wanna go on youtube and basically wanna find your song so basically any song so i'm gonna do double life of course so and already have it but it's fine just gonna do it simple double life Alright, and basically you just want to copy the URL, and basically you want to just gonna, oops, sorry, I'm gonna copy and paste that and click convert. And it should take a little bit, like two minutes or one second, or five seconds. Basically you want to click download, and basically it might take you to the link, just close that, and then you, it should be, the song should be done downloading. After that, close the page and go back to your uh, project. Basically you want to... Open your folder, or just it, and then basically want to find the song. So it's right here, right? When go ahead and drag it on, and just wait for it. Right. Now, once you've done that, it should be on it, like that. It's gonna. Be, and the song might be loud, so you might want to turn down a little bit. I have no idea how to do that, but whatever. And basically, want to want to click the plus up here and click and click create empty basically want to name it um the song title and then after that just name it song and basically make sure to click this mark so yeah unmark it basically what you want to do is click add component and click audio audio source and basically want to go ahead and drag on to the song and drag and drag the song onto audio clip Basically, uh, let's see if there's, oh yeah, volume. So you wanna turn it down to like a little bit, like right there. Right here, it's a little, here, it's a little too wide, so let's make it on the middle, right there. All right, now once you've done that, wanna go back to your button, make sure to click add component, and search up banana OS menu button, and click that. Basically, you should see this, and you basically want to click the little circle on the press material and search a pressed. Click the press button, basically on press material, on the little button again, and then search a plastic and click on the plastic button, this one. And then basically button rush mender, oops, button rush mender, you want to go ahead and drag this onto here. And once you've done that, you want to scroll down until you see objects to enable. Basically, you want to click the plus button. Basically, you want to go ahead and drag over this. 
once you've done that, you should be good. Basically, when you press it again, it might disable it. So let's go ahead and want to click the play button. All right, now go here. I have my desktop audio, so I don't get copyrighted. So yeah. All right. All right. Now wanna wanna click on your button again and click test press. And then it should work. Press it again. Oops. If it doesn't stop, then you have to do this. So basically, basically you have to make a disable button. So basically you just wanna copy this again and then just do the same exact thing. But you wanna do objects to disable. So I'm just gonna copy one of these. And drag it over here. That. that basically say with that plus and just drag the double life or the song once you're there and yeah you should be done that's basically how you add no application quite I forgot about that and yeah that's basically how you add a sound pad and basically for you beginners when basically you build the APK, like, like whenever you hop on a game, it just quits by itself. Basically, I know how to fix that, so let me show you guys. Oh my god. So basically, what I want you to do is go on your hierarchy and change your play fab. Basically, you should see play fab get authenticator. Click it. And wanna oh, hold on, try it. Wanna see play fab authenticator script? Quick, quick the. I can't. I can't even say anything. Just quick. Quick. Click the three dots and then click edit script. And then you should see this. Basically, you want to scroll all the way down so you see application quit. You want to delete that. And then, and then, and then just click file, save, and exit it. And then just, it might do this. Where's my dog still in? Thank you. Stop biting that. Go down, girl. Alright, anyways. And yeah, that's basically how do you add a sound board and fix your fix quit on join. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Hope this helps. But uh yeah. Uh thank you guys for watching and Oh my god. And goodbye.